All right. Hey guys, my name is Andy with Kahuna Window Cleaning. Um, Josh had asked me to do um, a, a few more videos on how to edit in Canva and upload them to SendGem, and uh, and I would absolutely love to. So this is the first video. I'm going to go a little bit deeper into how to edit. Um, in the last video, I showed how to create. Um, a postcard and upload it to SendGem and create it so it would be compatible um, with SendGem. This time I'm going to go into a little more detail on how you can edit inside Canva and really customize your postcard. I think it's something that um, that SendGem lets us do that is way, way underused and it's very, very powerful to be able to custom make your own postcards to really make the postcard scream uh, your business. Um, so let's get into that. It does not take long. I'm going to show you guys here in this quick little video. All right, so you've logged into Canva and you're brand new, so you don't have any designs here. Um, what I highly recommend is using our templates. What you can do is you can um, use your own custom um, design and start with like a blank white um, uh, design but uh, you'd have to get the dimensions and everything just right and I've already gone through the work to figure out um, what the dimensions are and um, what goes where and where you can put your lettering and your text and your images and where you can't because SendGem will overlay the address and information and QR code and everything like that. You don't want any of your pictures covered up. If you're starting blank, it's going to be really tough to know exactly where that is. So here's what I recommend. Use the templates um, that I put out. Now, to be able to use them, I'm going to have to add you to um, our little team member group. To add you, I'm going to need your email. So. Um, Message me your email and I'll add you to the group and then you'll be able to see these designs here. They'll show up in, if you go to the sidebar here, they'll show up in where it says shared with you. So you click on that and you'll see these templates. Now this is only if you're in the group. I will add you, you just have to send me your email. Originally I was sharing these directly, but what I quickly realized was that um, when people would get in here and edit it, it was actually editing my copy and everybody else's copy. So we were all trying to edit the same um, document, which was messing us all up. So if you're in the group, you'll be able to see these and edit them, and it will be your own copy. Um, so here are some templates. I'm starting out with four. I'm going to add more. Um, and add a few more designs that look a little different. These kind of look similar here, um, but we're going to add some more that are going to look different, a little different uh, color schemes, and uh, those will automatically pop up if you're in our little team group. Again, um, message me your email and I'll get you in. So here are the templates I've got so far. Here's a 4x6 five around postcard. Here's a 4x6 thank you postcard. Here's a 4x6 thank you postcard with the house overlay or the image overlay with SendGem. Um, if you don't know, SendGem does this thing where you, if you already have the customer in your database, you can take a picture of their property or their yard sign or anything and uh, add that to their account. And then when you send them a postcard it, um, with the option to overlay, it will overlay that picture right on your postcard. Um, let's see if I've got an example here. So this is a, an example of the overlay. In this case, we didn't take a picture of the client's house. All we did was add our own uh, company photo. So the company photo got overlaid. But if we were to take a picture of their house, you'd see their house here. Um, so that's another option. Otherwise, if you don't want to do the overlay, if you don't want to be taking pictures of everybody's house, that's fine. You can use this one. You don't have to have that overlay on there. This is a template for a five by eight. 
um, the five by eight template looks a little different. Um, it looks like it looks like this on the back side. You've got more room. Uh, you can put stuff around here. Um, you've got more than half of the postcard over here you can put stuff in. So you've got a lot more card real estate to work with. Um, they're a little more expensive. They cost uh, 1.5 credits and uh, 4 by 6 costs 1 credit currently. So here's, here's what I would recommend. Let's get into it here. Let's start editing. Um, let's go with the five around template. So what you what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on it right there and then you're going to you can view it first um, and then you can hit use as template alright so you're gonna click use as template and now boom it pulls up here you can edit this and as soon as you edit and save it uh, this design is yours and it will show up it will show up in your designs right here where it says your designs this is your template no one else can edit this no one else can see it it's all yours all right so back in there all right so let's say we want to make this postcard your custom five around postcard so the five around as you know Go out to the nearest neighbors of customers that you already did, or it's sometimes called the neighbor mailing. This one says it's a pretty basic idea. You're gonna put a picture of you or your crew here. Um, it's gonna it's got this little bubble here. It says word got out. We did business with your neighbors and got them talking. Read what they're saying online, and that will have your you can put a review here or you can put your five-star ranking. Um, 4.8 Facebook whatever yours may be you can just copy and and paste those in a little snippet whatever you want to do um, you can say the services you offer and then I've got a little coupon code down here again guys it's so easy to so easy to to do these you literally click drag and drop whatever you want you don't want the Facebook one in there just delete it um, you can edit this if you're a landscaper you can just put in your your stuff whatever you do um, the only thing you probably don't want to do is um, put anything in these gray areas here all right that's because this is real estate for what send Jim has to put in to get the to get the postcard where it needs to be basically now the, on the first page you can do obviously whatever you want to with it so let's say we're making a postcard for birds beware which I believe is Josh's company that he sold um, when he started making send you. so let's make this a birds beware postcard so we're gonna, it's this simple guys watch I just clicked that I deleted it I'm going to upload. Uh, I got a picture of Josh here off his Facebook page. Hope he doesn't mind. I'm going to slide that right in there. This white framed box behind it just makes it look a little neater. It looks like it's framed. It's an actual framed picture, a little border. Um, of course, you don't have to have that. Now I'm going to I'm going to arrange these. Send it back in the order a little bit and that way the uh, word bubble comes over the picture and it just looks a little neater we're going to delete these black lettering that's just to show you where things go that you guys have probably already figured out all right we're going to put josh's logo in here old logo um, longer logos work better in this area if you've got a square logo it'll still work it'll show up a little small um, we're going to make the color scheme more his type of color scheme we've got the dark 
blue and brown as ours. But uh, the birds beware looks like uh, we could do maybe a little lighter, lighter blue. That works. Um, and then with an orange, almost orange accent. It's a little too red. There we go. All right, here's more brown. We can make this orange. We could center this a little more. We can scroll down here. What we're going to do is do the same with this accent color. Um, I'm going to leave this all basically the same. Here's a helpful hint. <clears throat> if you want to know what postcards are uh, are converting and which ones aren't, or which ones are converting better than others, or which area, or whatever, you want to know when you sent them, you can always change this QR code, or this, uh, not QR code, but coupon code, to whatever you want. Make it a date or something like that. So when customers use this uh, coupon code, you know what mailing they got. So you can make, I just said radius bomb, or you can go neighbor, neighbor mailing 001 or something like that, right? Um, here's more black lettering that we got to delete before we download this. All right. Oh, can't have that in there. All right. So in this section right here, you can put your slogan. Obviously, that's optional. If you don't want it in there, you can delete it. But there is a little bit of space in between this section and this section, and you can put your slogan there. It'll work really well because all your, your company information is going to be right here, slogan at the bottom. That works. Just making good use of the real estate that we have available. Um, here's, another, here's another hint. Um, I've got this little find us on Facebook right here, and it's going to be pointing at the QR code right here. Um, now, it's important that when putting this card on Facebook, you um, in the QR code where it has you put that URL, you're going to want to put the URL to your Facebook page. So when people scan this URL, it takes them to their Facebook page. If you want to take them to their Facebook or to your website, just put your website in there. Delete this little find us on Facebook arrow. Um, that's completely up to you. But I don't think that took long. Um, maybe seven minutes, and we've completely customized this postcard here. You could customize it more if you wanted. Put your authority uh, badges down here if you have them. Um, what you're going to want to do, this is important. Before you download it, you're going to want to delete these gray boxes and this black lettering. Uh, and why are you going to want to do that? Well, to give you a nice white template, because when uh, when Senjim does their overlay, you want it to be nice black lettering on white um, on white. Now you could make it a different color, like gray. But it's going to be black lettering, so you want it to show up well. Let me get a, let me get my uh, a couple examples here. So here's one. This is uh, this is pretty much our neighbor mailing that we do. Let me blow this up so you can see. This is our neighbor mailing that we do on the back. Uh, as you can see, it looks very similar. We've got our little lo or a slogan right here. We've got the QR code here. That's what it's going to look like when it's printed. All right. This is where the address and some postage stuff goes. So I hope that helps. And then you guys will download it just like uh, just like I showed you in the last video. I hope that helps. Thanks, guys.